where you need to do development uh, with our NGL libraries. So the first thing you need is Xcode. Um, you can get that for free from the App Store. So you fire up the App Store and then download Xcode. And whilst we're not going to use Xcode, um, Xcode does have the ability to download and install all of the command line tools that we're going to need to run things. So as you can see here, I'm firing up Xcode for the first time here. Um, it wants to install a few components and things, so we'll just go through and do that. It's actually relatively quick to do. And then once that's done, we'll see at the moment, if I just open up a terminal here, that um, if I try to um, do this, again, okay, another update, see it's a brand new Macintosh, so it really is the uh, um, first time I've actually used it. This is why I thought I'd make these movies now, just to go through the process. So if we look here at the moment, I've opened up a, a quick shell here, and if I say G++, not found, Clang++, not found. None of the um, developer tools are actually installed by default when we, we start with the Mac. Um, however, the easiest way of doing this is to install Xcode. And again, Xcode is useful if you want to do pure Mac development or you want to do iPhone development and things like that. You need it. So if we fire up Xcode, so start using Xcode, what it will give us once it fires up, and we'll just cancel this for now, if we go up um, to the preferences um, element here, and you'll see it's got all sorts of stuff here. And if we go to downloads, what we want to do is to install the command line tools. And also it's worth um, putting my password. It's worth in check install updates automatically here. Um, every time you fire up Xcode it will come and uh, uh, do the new th new tools and everything else. Now this may take a little time uh, to do so what I'm going to do is pause this movie and then we'll start up again once it's all downloaded.